Hey there, welcome to my channel. This is Mary Ann Maldonado. Wanted to let you know today I am going to be lifting Erica from Paper Issues. I'm going to take her layout and translate it into my own. I'm going to be using this adorable photo of my boy. He was four, maybe, when we went camping with some friends. Anyway, I'll tell you more about that in a minute, but I'm going to be using the Fancy Pants Sidekick Optional Collection, which was very hard for me to figure out what paper I was going to use because I loved every single one of them. I ended up choosing the blue background because of the jacket. But if you look back to Erica's, which is actually on the side, hers is a, a white background with details. I tend to go a little crazy with um, coloring and or colors and patterns. So I chose the bright blue and I'm going to cover it with all kinds of ephemera that I think is appropriate for this photo and the story that I'm trying to convey. So starting with a blue patterned paper background, it's kind of tough. Um, it is it is a paper that not everything will blend with. So I went through and I picked out the ephemera that I, I thought was appropriate and I knew I wanted the um, what is that called? A film strip, but it was a little too long and I wanted my layout to be very similar to Erica's um, as much as I could be. So I cut off the top of the strip and the white off of the bottom to make it about the size of my photo and that worked really well for me. It was hard to bring in a bunch of color because the paper and the jacket are all blue. So bringing in more color, you had to be a little bit careful. Um, or I felt like I needed to be a little bit careful. So I am lining up where I think I, I like things to go. And pretty much, if you've ever watched any of my videos, I go right to sticking things down. But for this one, I was a little more hesitant. Um, I really wasn't sure what I was going to do, what I was going to use. So I didn't stick as quickly as I normally do. So I did want a background. I wanted the line across the center to be a little bit more... Um, eye-catching than what laying all of those ephemera pieces and photo on the blue paper itself. I do bring the paper down a little bit. You can see me talking of with my hands a little bit here, and I apologize for that dinging, but you can see me talking with my hands a lot here because I'm actually doing this layout live over at Paper Issues, and what I did was I downloaded it and condensed it and chopped out some of the things you didn't really care if you saw or not and and brought you this small shorter much shorter live layout so I hope that you're enjoying it I'll give you a few seconds to just watch what I'm doing here I don't know if you've seen my videos before or not either, but on the back of my photos when I print them, I put the date. I find it a lot easier when I go to use those photos to have the date there already where I don't have to go back to the photo, research it, try to find it, try to find the date. It's already on the back of my photo. I write it down on a piece of paper that's nearby, and then I'll add the date as I'm going along. I also was going to tell you about the campsite that we went to here. Um... We do bring airsoft gun. That is not a real a real gun. It's an airsoft gun or a BB gun, I think. Um, but we are out 14 miles down a lake to get to this campsite called Black Point. This is our first year going. We went several years. But this one is our first year going. We had the grandest time. Um, there is nothing for you. You have to bring everything in or you are out of luck. If you forget it, you don't get it. Um, so you have to take in boatloads. I think sometimes there's like two boatloads worth of stuff people bring down. There's boats everywhere. There's people everywhere. This time, I think there was maybe four or five families. We all pitched tents and, and lived in our tents. We had a community area where we all ate and then we just had a, a great time. So this is my boy getting ready to shoot at targets um, because it's such a empty space. We all um, 
we just had so much space there. It was ridiculous it, and absolutely beautiful. I was afraid of bears. I was afraid of snapping turtles in the water. I was just afraid of everything. I did not sleep well. So anyway, I felt like the white paper here needed a little bit of a breakup between the ephemera pieces. So I added a very thin strip of black and then I went to go to add um, the title onto my speech bubbles, and I just couldn't get get it right. Um, I wanted the piece that I bring out in a second is a bigger than my speech bubble. So I add two speech bubbles together to get my a base for my my ephemera piece, and it, it seems to work. I kind of like it. I think I tied that twine once, didn't like it, took it back out and retied it again. So I really like the uh, title Incredible going down the side like that, and it fits perfect with the size that's going across the layout. I wanted some color. You know, he's a superhero. Here is where I try to get those um, clouds or speech bubbles to work for me. Yeah, I can't decide. The other cloud kind of things are just a little bit too big. I couldn't make it work. And I thought that one was too small. I don't often change my mind. Usually I just stick and go, but I could not figure out that speech bubble for the life of me. And I love the arm muscle. Man, I wish I had a big die cut or a a silhouette die cut that I could cut a big old bubble or um, an arm muscle. It is just the cutest thing. I think it's the best piece of this whole entire collection. I highly recommend that you check out the collection. If you purchase from Paper Issues, where I bought this collection, you can get 20% off anything you order from Cassie over there at Paper Issues with code mary hyphen. Anne. It doesn't do anything for me. It's just a gift that she gives to friends of her design team. So if you're interested in this, I've got all of the information down in the description. You head over to Paper Issues and it's code Mary-Ann for 20% off. Um, I know that she's just stocked the store with a bunch of other things as well. I know she reordered some of this collection as well too. So be on the lookout for that if you don't see it right at this moment when you go look. So I'm trying to add to the top and to the bottom like Erica did. I think I had my journaling down at the bottom, if I remember correctly. I had my journaling pre-made before the layout or before I started the live layout over on Facebook. Um, and then I added that to the bottom and a little banner up at the top and these amazing stars, which I, which I had, wish I had many more of those. I think they're perfect for this layout and I really really could have used some more but then I have that tendency to go overboard which I always do oh there's my journaling so I'm just going to cut them into thin strips and place them down at the bottom You know, camping is fun uh, once you get there. I hate the prep. I hate the anticipation of it. It is not my jam. But when I get there and after it's done, I really have a good time. And I just throw such a fit before we go. <laughs> my husband probably hates me every time we plan to go camping. But anyway, we're going with my friend and her family. So I really should be on board here. But boy, oh boy, I wasn't sure that I wanted to wanted to go but it was a great time and we went several years after but you know I mean, not every girl likes camping I wouldn't mind glamping and then I've got some older queen and company embellishments here that just add some color and pizzazz and, and um, dimension to the layout because they are a little bit uh, lifted you know they're domed they're beautiful. I just add red, yellow, and some black. The perfect colors for this layout, of course. I just scattered them about. 
And in a second, you're going to see some um, close-ups of this layout. I hope that you've enjoyed watching today on how this came together and watching me talk with my hands and bitch about camping. I mean, complain about camping. I'm sorry. I thank you for being here. I would love it if you liked and subscribed to my YouTube channel. Um, I hope to present some more options and um, creations with you soon. I really appreciate you and you guys have a great day and hang out while the video finishes and check out the close-ups. Thank you so much.